So here we go. Got another new project. We're gonna put some interior in this old truck. All right, so this is what we're working on. 78 Chevrolet truck. Tow board's a little crunchy. The floorboard is too. Got another hole right there. And on the pad, on the driver's side, this channel where the rubber lays into, that's gone. You can see how that's a little crunchy. Rocker panel, the uh, where the seat mount is, it's a little, a little rusty. I was hoping this could be just, uh, just tear it out and, you know, paint it and fix a few spots, but I didn't think it's gonna be that bad, which I'm not complaining with what it has, because I know there's a lot worse out there. Even the bed, it's got its, see right there, it's got some holes in it. We gotta, we're gonna do a repaint on the whole thing, but we got, we just got the transmission put in it. And I will not give them any kind of recognition. I wouldn't use that transmission shop again for anything. Not gonna give you their name. I'm not gonna talk bad. I'm just not gonna, not gonna refer them to anybody or anything to be done with that with that company. But anyway, let's get the uh, let's get some metal cut. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm using this cab as a parts cab. And see the channel, and it's good. The uh, I, I call this the seat hump or the mount or whatever. It, it's good. The tow board on the other side is good. Somebody has used this part of it already for a patch panel. Pretty pretty solid cab, to be honest. It's a shame that it turned into a parts cab. But that's where we're at. Let me get let me get what I need cut off of this, and then we'll transfer it over to the other truck. Go from there. So that's it. I just got the rocker panel and that little hump piece cut off that I need. Use my plaz cutter. That's a new cutter. I'll link it in the description. It uh, it actually worked pretty good. Practicing around with it, it didn't make too bad of cuts. Anyway, I can't really focus on it. But I'll take and make me a template off of what I need on this truck i'll make a template off of that and then put it on the rocker i just cut out and then cut it off of the rocker the donor rocker and cut this rocker and then set everything in place yeah this is a pain in the butt but it's better than spending the money right now to uh have a rocker shipped and brought in it's just using what you can. This is DIY, budget build stuff. So anyway, all right, I'll be back. So progress is where we're at. So I just took a, a straight or a, a cutoff wheel, and I cut just a straight line across right here, and then I come across right here to uh, through the through this channel, and then over to the uh, rocker panel, and come up. And this is where I already have a repair. I have a repair here, so I'm not trying to run into a repair and a repair. And I've been underneath the truck and that patch is pretty solid. There's there's nothing getting in it. And the reason why I'm gonna stay away from it and leave it alone is because it's one, it's already been repaired once. Um, two, we're not doing a full restoration here. So I'm just trying to get some sound deadening and, and kind of clean the truck up and get it to where it lasts a little longer. And then someday we may come back and do a full restoration and put floor pans in it. But right now we're just trying to get by with what we got. And so I'm just gonna come across here. And then when I get this piece out and replaced back in, I'll focus on this little area here and getting the channel back in and getting this pitted up metal replaced. Um, I know it's aggravating to, to watch this and see it in stages, I guess. It's a little less talk and a lot more work. But right now I'm doing this with my phone. As the channel grows and gets bigger, uh, I can start investing more in like some GoPros and do like all the other guys do. But right now, this is the best I can do. And hopefully you guys will subscribe and like and share and give me a thumbs up and all that good stuff. But anyway, for right now, this is the best I can do. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it as I go along the best I can anyway. So let me get this cut out and let's, I'll be back. 
So that's where we're at. I got the section cut out and uh, if you watch this far along, you know what you're doing, then you probably knew that along right here, there's spot welded the, at, the inner fender and the outer fender, or yeah, the inner rocker and outer rocker are all spot welded to each other. So what I had to do is I just took a grinder and I cut right there in that channel. Um, so what I did is when I figured out that I'd screwed up, I already had my cut back here, right? And did all this. Well, then I just took a grinder and, and cut right along here in the center of these spot welds. And then when I got enough of that out, I seen this edge right here. And so I just took my grinder and zipped it off right there. So it's a little curve ball through myself. I didn't realize that's what I was doing, but it's okay. I learned as I go. Um, so the right thing to do on this patch piece that I'm trying to salvage would be come in here. And I can see them like right there. See that? That is a spot weld. If I come in and drill out all the spot welds and I cut this where I need to be, this inner fender right here and all this structure, in theory, if I cut it like, if I cut it like in this area, just cut it right here, in theory, that this would turn loose and I go ahead and fix this piece and reattach my inner fender. My, I don't know why I keep calling it inner fender, my inner rocker. So I attach this piece and my inner rocker and fix that. And then this piece will already be free. And that, if I'm thinking right, will go ahead and free my channel here to where I can cut this as I need. Go ahead and cut this piece and then set that on top of it. That's what I'm thinking. So, I can tell you, I always tend to do things my own way. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot and try to drill out these spot welds. I'll take my DA sander and sand them so I can see them. And I'll see how a few of them go. And then I'll know from there whether I'm gonna make my own path or I'm gonna just, you know, do what would technically, technically be right. But I am using junk to fix junk, so decisions decisions let me play around with my da and, and see what i can do with these spot welds i'll be back so there it is it's drilled out it's separated and everything come apart pretty easy except for one one small area <laughs> this area right here apparently this piece of metal was fused up higher than where the actual spot weld was and I actually, actually gouged the screwdriver through it trying to get it out because, you know, my anger management kicked in and lost control. And so that's where that's at. But it's okay. We're, we're rocking along pretty good. There's nothing that can't be fixed. If it was a piece of wood, I'd be lost. But now that it's a piece of metal that we're dealing with, it's pretty easy to deal with. So anyway... So we have our inner fender, our inner rocker structure, and then we have our hump structure. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll trim this down and get it ready to start tacking it. I'll tack it here and I'll tack it there, back and forth. And I'll tack it and get it in place and then uh, I'll do all the welding off camera and get it all ground up and cleaned up. But that's where we're at right now, yeah. Everything's gonna, I think it's all gonna tie in and look pretty good. But, uh, yeah, you can, I was trying to move that back, but it's not gonna go back. But you can see where this it kind of divots in. But uh, like I said, a hammer and dolly will fix all that. Put some more, uh, fold that over and spot weld it and clean it up. Maybe add some metal if I need to. It's nothing that can't be fixed though, so. We're, we're close to having this rocker rust free. Look at all the dirt and everything down in it. All the scale and stuff. I need to vacuum all that out before we get too far. But yeah, let's just uh, keep moving forward. So 
this is where I'm at now. I've, I've trimmed this piece off and then I've trimmed it down to the length of what I need. And so I'm just kind of estimating just about kind of need to cut right, right there. And then I can look behind this and I can see my cuts down there low. So I'm gonna play it safe and just kind of draw a little line there where I think needs to happen up in here. And then I come right here and just outline here what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to add, I know I'm gonna have to add a little filler metal here just because Remember, this is the piece of the floor that was already gone. Somebody had already cut that. So, I know I had to fill a little bit of the space, but I don't know how much. So, that's where I'm at. And this piece here is ugly. It's all warped. I'm in Texas. How you say it? I'm in W. Whooped. I whooped the heck out of it. I whooped it. I whooped the crap out of it. But anyway, it's going to be the, the uh, outside rockers going to come in right here. And then this is all going to be filled with seam sealer. And then the stripping will go down. So you won't ever see that. We're not building a Barrett Jackson building anyway. So I'll be happy with it. I just want rust free and dry. I don't want the carpet. I got a new carpet. I don't want to get it wet. I want to be able to sound dead in it, seal it off, and uh, have a nice quiet ride going down the road and be comfortable in here for my wife. So anyway, that's, that's where I'm at now. Let me get this trimmed up and uh, get it cut. I, I'll tell you guys, I'm, I'm using that glass cutter and I'm liking it. Like I said, it's, I don't know. I'm used to using the big industrial ones like that have like you know they're the real class cutter. These are just little five and nine pounds. But anyway, for what it is, it, it doesn't do bad. And I, I know I still gotta come in and clean some of it. And I wasn't too good there. I think I'm about to cut that off. Anyway, I was leaving myself some meat for metal and enough for I can come back and clean it up. Have nice sharp edges. So. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So I just got after it and I got it all welded in. I started grinding it, cleaning it up. I'm gonna have to come back and fix some spots. But uh, yeah, I got this is cleaned up. I like this. I got this kind of beat around. I, I would kind of whipped on it too much right there, but it's okay. Uh, these are. This is where I actually messed it up with my screwdriver got it all welded in got this uh tacked all in this little piece here i still have to trim this little area right here and finish tacking it um my plan i'm not sure this how it's gonna go but my plan is to clean from this part and all the way see i've got that ground down i want this right here to uh be nice and clean but it really doesn't matter because I'm I'm putting uh, sound deadener on it, and then I'm gonna have it covered up with carpet. So I don't know how much. Cause see, when I'm grinding it, it's thinning it back out, and I actually have some places that I've ground too thin that I've got to go back and fix. And I don't mind doing this one time. I just don't like going back and doing it the second time. So I don't I don't understand why I would have to clean that up and make it you know, look like I've never been there if I'm gonna cover it up with, you know, I'm gonna cover it up with uh, sound deadener, what insulation and carpet, and then put a seat over all that, and you're not gonna see it. And then my channel's gonna come in through here. So uh, I don't think, I mean, I'm gonna clean up a little bit just where my dynamat will stick or sound deadener, whatever your stuff's called, but, uh, I just don't know that I need to make it smooth. Now, if I was want to, you know, if I was doing a full restoration for somebody and I, you know, they're paying top dollar for it, then we'd, we'd be no question asked. But this is a, just a, a clean little daily driver for my wife and I want it to be safe and functional, but we're not trying to put it on 
the Barrett Jackson stage. So, anyway, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this up, touch up the weld I need to, and then start working on fitting the rocker in. And call this video a wrap. So this is where I'm at. I just got all my welds cleaned up, and uh, I, I took my light and shined it underneath, and everywhere I could see a little pinhole in the weld, I pinhole, I welded it up. Um, it's not a hundred percent, but it's, it's good enough for what I do. The, uh, I just sprayed some black spray paint on it. I have this POR 15 or POR 15, uh, brush preventative, and, uh, it works real good. You can actually apply it with a brush and it's a, uh, self-leveling and this stuff goes a long ways. I'll, I'll link that in the description. What I'm gonna do, about to do is I'm, I'm about to cut the outer rocker and get it in here and tack weld in a few places and then I'm gonna seam seal it. And then uh, I'm probably gonna on the back side of this weld right here and I'll seam seal all that, make sure it's good and tight or not good and tight, nice and sealed off. Uh, that way we won't have to worry about any water getting in, any moisture. Uh, Looks a little hammered, like right in here, this area. This is where I, my screwdriver went in, a few places where I drilled all the way out. I don't believe if I ever am in, in this position again where I'm fixing inner rockers and outer rockers. One, I'll either get the, the new rockers and just replace it, but if, uh, if anything, I'm gonna do it on the cheap. I'll probably just get me some uh, like 14 gauge, 12, 13, 14 gauge uh, metal something that that can uh, bend pretty easy but still be pretty stout whenever you bend it and uh, i'll make my own inner rocker especially if all i have to do is go from here to here just put a little bend in it that'd be a whole lot easier than the route i took so learn from my mistakes and uh i i definitely have so i just know that that's what i'll do next time so anyway i'm rambling right now so let me get this cut and then once this dries a little bit better, we will uh, start putting the outer rocker in. Alrighty, so there's the outer rocker. It's tacked in place. It fit up pretty good. It's up in that channel good. Uh, I gotta straighten this out. It looks, it looks worse in the camera than it does actually looking at it. Um, I started grinding everything down. I still have to fix and plug weld all this stuff up, run the seam sealer on the inside, and uh, this will be ready for a little bit of body work. I'll get over on that other side too. I probably won't, I don't know how much of that I'll show just because it's, it's a whole lot easier to do than what this was. This is kind of a challenge here. And then also I had to make sure that the door, I had to make sure it shut and everything looks good. And he's nice and even going across. So that's gonna work out when I put my door sills back in. It, uh, it should work fine. If you guys remember, the reason why I did all this is because it was all rusted out in this area. This was all, this was all gone in this channel right here. And then this lip, was completely gone like there wasn't anything there so now i have something solid for my door seal to fit on i can glue it on there if i want to and then i can seam seal back here behind this channel and we'll be good to go yeah see we replaced all that and it all worked out good looks real good that patch there i'm gonna go ahead and leave i'm gonna seam seal it with some fresh seam sealer and uh this thing will last for several more years. So that's it. I'm I'm glad that this is done. To me, this would be the hardest part of the whole project. I'll uh, knock that out over there real quick. And then we can do some scuffing and painting the dash, this back piece. And then we can start putting in all the sound deadening and get to the fun stuff. So guys, if you like this video and you've watched this for long, I appreciate it. My analytics shows that 93% of y'all are not subscribed to me. Y'all are just watching the videos but not subscribed. I would uh, definitely appreciate the subscribe, the thumbs up, hit that notification bell, 
whatever whatever you need to do or, or whatever they say, I, I, it'd be it'd be deeply appreciated. Uh, I'm trying to get monetized doing this so I could uh, build more trucks and have better content and invest in more equipment. That way I can show you more about what I'm doing and how to do it. So anyway, we appreciate it, guys. Thanks.